But guys, this is That Is Life 1993, continuing my playing of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the Game Boy Color version. I last streamed this about three weeks ago, um, it's been a while. I had some sound issues, my, my first video did they have sound from the game in it, but I figured that all out. Um, did some other updates, so hopefully the stream works out a bit better this time. Now that it went horribly wrong the first time, due to the type of game it is, but she would like sound, so I have it now. Um, and yeah, so, I guess let's start. We will just... I spent two and a half hours in just um, Dragon Alley, so... Uh, I am currently level... Where am I? Level 8. Ah, uh, no. I wish the game was... There's not other many lava guides for this game. Not that you really need them, but it would be nice too. No. Hope all of you have been doing well. I can't wait to get home and change out of these marble floors. They're so itchy. Not sure how clock should be out that much better. This platform needs more bounces. That woman really doesn't look like I am um, a witch. Fine looking group of students this time. They, 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 oh, they do have a beast earring, earring, I think. Anyway, so it's been about three weeks since I last played. Um, Hello, is this the Hogwarts Express? Yes, it is. What's that on your forehead? Are you... Him? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, George and Fred, have you seen Percy? Yes, he's up front with the other prefix. Hey, Ron, you know who this is? George, is it polite to stare? Who is he? Ron, ignoring that. <laughs> Not that him, Mikey Axe. Uh, Maggie Axe is a friend of mine, um, he um, helps me with some technical issues, kind of. Um, <laughs> Who is he? Maggie on, the train's about to leave. All aboard that beast guy again. All aboard. Okay, so fun fact, in the books, it's never ever made quite clear if Molly Weasley has the same rad hair that um, Alvo Kids and um, Arthur has. I assume it's pretty clear that Arthur has it. Um, every single sentence where it mentions um, Harry seeing the Weasleys um, with the other rad hair could be rad where Marley is separate from the other ones um, with a rad hair description. description. It happens every single time. It's actually rather interesting. Not so. Um, I don't think JK is ever actually sad if she asks her for rad hair or not, but I don't know, interesting fact. Wait, that's... there we go. Don't wander too far, the train will be leaving soon. Ah, uh, interesting. The hell? Yeah, there we go. I like how this is what has to come for a cinematic on, um, for this game. I, I don't know if I would waste time talking to all of them, but I guess I will. Where is the di- I don't think there is a dining car. It's awfully stuffy in here. Did you have purple hair? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's purple is. Should I wave back at the Margos? I don't think they can see the chain. I want to be the first to see Hogwarts. Uh, <laughs> I want to get into Earth Magic. I love to dig. Um, Earth Magic is actually... I think student who, who is interested in Earth Magic is listed on the Harry Potter wiki. And there's debates on what Earth Magic even is, which is a good question. Ah, Lee, Jordan, Fred, and George. We've come a long way to go to Hogwarts. Really? 
Where did Jordan come from? I actually don't know. Check out the sweet Charlie when it comes by. By the way, Frog and I saw sweets is cool too. They gotta be out of the game. Did you hear? There's a brigand at Gringotts. I ride in the Daily Prophet. Who was it? No one knows. Must have taken powerful dog Marty to get in and out like that. What's the Daily Prophet? The newspaper for wizards wiz and witches. He has a bunch of news from around the world. A lot about Hogwarts too. I really like it. And to see an actual Daily Prophet. I know JK printed some eons, eons, eons ago, but every air be cool you see the type of news you get from that. Did you my toad? No, sorry, I haven't. Um, thank you. Who is it so wild enough? Navo sucked at keeping track of that toad. I just popped it a private care. You do it. Something is a windy day. Who will expect a private carriage? Why? What are you looking at? Oh, that's nice. See, it's so comfy. And they, they do look kind of comfy, as long as it's not like fake plastic, which I would expect it to be. It's an. <laughs> it's an honor to. Could you imagine. Could you imagine another student walking up to his crowny Harry? It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Potter, so. I. Because I, I can't. At all. Did any student actually treat him like that? Carl and Creevy kind of, but not quite in that manner. A window is stuck. Hey, that's really purple hair. Oh, green eyes, that's a nice design. No, they're not going to show a film. I'm not sure if Wizards even have films. In fact, I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure they don't have projectors either. So you can throw um, Prisoner of Azkaban the movie out. Sorry, but I'm busy with my game. Okay. Would, here's a fun question. Would a game system like a Game Boy Color, um, any of those um, handheld gaming systems, would they work on the Hogwarts Express? I would expect not. Especially the close to the Hogwarts, of course, but. Hello, I'm Ron Weasley. Are you really Harry Potter? Yes, I am. <laughs> Just sits down. Oh, I thought it might be another of my brother's jokes. Hermione, got your lava. Have you seen a toad? A boy named Navos lost his. Navo lost his. I'm gonna have to try to just read what's here and not inflict upon the movie, which I've seen about a lot of times. No. No one here but has my rat, Scarbos. Plot twist. Maybe not a rat. Maybe you didn't know that. I'm Hermione Granger. So who are you? Ron Weasley. Harry Potter. Really? I forgot all about you. Do you cast powers yet? Would you like to loan one? Here, here's how you cast for the Milius. No one in my family is magical. I've loaned all our post books by heart. Well, back to toad hunting. Bye. You loan a new power for the Milius Uno. That's Paul is actually, um, this is streams ago, weeks ago. This part, I think, it was this one, was in the Harry Potter Prisoner, Harry Potter Sorcerer's Tone version of the PS1. And I think PS2, a uh, PS1 version of Chamber Secrets 2. But I don't know about that for so. I hope I'm not in class with her. She likes the sound of her own voice. She talked for like two seconds. Well, granted, she did have a long tax thing in there. She likes the sound of her voice too much. Own voice too much. Ah yes, the fireball, cloth, th fire thrower thing from the coast child. Sweets here, chocolate frogs, pumpkin pasties, or pasties I think, and body bajavi flavor beans, and more. Oh, she's chocolate frogs. Oh, chocolate frogs. They aren't real frogs, are they? No, but they are tasty. Has their famous witches and wizards cards in them. Great. Now that we do out of my collection. Um, yeah. I'm not collecting this playthrough. I I have um played this um through once now. Um, and there's an amazing guide on Game Facts, which is, which is where I go for all my game guides. And um, besides Karen, which of course, I, besides all of course, I use the use the UESP. But um. 
great game guide um, which lists all the places you can find all the cards and other items. It's extremely useful if you ever want to collect all the cards and I'm going to eventually in another game. Um, use that guide because it's perfect. Great, another way to go to my collection. You collect them as well? There's a collector's club of Hogwarts. I have heard you can use them to do magic. You can, but I'm never going to do it. I can promise that right now. When you buy chocolate frogs, look for one in the pockets. Hmm, maybe I saw it by some magical famous witches and wizard cards or not. You can't go wrong with chocolate. How about those every flavor bean things? What flavors are in there? Every flavor, that's not specific. And not just the gold stuff. I think I had the dot flavored one once. Um, how do you know what dot tastes like? Don't ask. You should get something though. Must taste, must taste pretty good. My brothers sell streets at school. They charge a lot more. Do I have to? Actually, no. Oh, I don't. I just need to talk to her. Oh, how about if I wanted something? Oops. Is that going to... Uh, no, they didn't throw in um, the whole Drago wanting my sweets thing. Okay. They who, uh, by the way, I met him three weeks ago, slash, not all that long ago in game, um, in Mother Morgan, so... <sighs> they tell me you're Harry Potter. I am. How disappointing. This is crap, and that's goyle. Jesus Christ, they can speak. Not that they'd be able to tell from the books, but they can speak. Grunt. Snort. Jesus. And those things became slaves into the House of Carnin. I see you've met Weasley. Careful, Pat. You don't want to mix with the wrong people. <laughs> he turns around and looks at him and he just turns back. I know who the wrong people are. You should be more polite, Pato. We you end up like a Weasley here. You better go. Ah, so no, I, I move it through again. We don't feel like leaving until we have some of your sweets. Which I didn't get any of, but I continue. Hop your sours, boys. Squeak! <laughs> I hope you could hear this stream. I have no idea how the sound sounds. Most annoying thing I've ever had to deal with in Trits. Tritsing. Trits streaming. Let's see. So, yeah, I spent a lot of time in um, Gringouts. So, I already have Lupando up to Trio. I already have this up to Duo. So, I guess let's just use this and get this up. Oh, that's not one. It's not going to hold, technically. I think this might be one of the only times in game you actually duel another human portion. That sounds about right. And that's much more useful. I'm not too worried, like, at all, but, you know. Like, it, this isn't doing, like, the most damage. That one was a bad though. Mm. I like how it runs off squeaking like a rat. Um, 60 XP. Oh, cool. I already have a lot. That didn't take long. Next time, get your own sweets. You're better than you look, Pato. To show there are no hard feelings, there's a cow combination for your folio triplicates. Use it if you face great danger. What the hell is Jacob doing giving me a cow combination? Unless it's a sabotage one. That's always possible. Um, I do hope my audio is working. My audio thing on shits that I'm looking at. I can't really tell if it is or not. Maybe. Anyway, I, I guess I'll find it one way or the other. You have defeated that nasty snob, Draco, with spouse, so it's them right for talking about your new friends that way. It is concerning. 
Nice one, Harry. You know what happens. Somebody's dad's house was Hufflepuff. Yeah, there's a famous Kalkalak. Now I don't remember any Kalkalak. Oh, okay, here you are. Now arrive in the Hogwarts, please put on your Hogwarts robes before disembarking. Everyone by me then. We'll be taking boats from here across. Across? Does it sound right? The lake to Hogwarts. Now keep your hands and feet inside the boat. Don't be dragging your wands in the water. Oh, a man is trying to create another huge monsters. Huge monsters? I wish I knew a few spows. After the boats, then. Ah, you know what? Three main ones and like three variants, I believe. There's a there's a cart along the shore or something. Look at this wild mo um rod. Or is it maybe? Ah, yeah, the items, of course. Oh yeah, I went to check a card combination. Okay. Well, let's check a card combination. I have no idea. Did he give me Nash here? That sounds like a Draco thing to do. That seems likely. Yeah, it's, it has to be Sabotage. There's no way he, in gold grace, actually gave a useful um, thing for me. Oh yes, for you, Marjai. Salazar Slytherin, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Let's see. Some of these pictures are so anime, it's very unusual. Because most of the time you see um, these characters, they aren't done in an anime style. But yeah, that's, that's Salazar Slytherin, is it? Interesting. Um, the boat, um, I can only move side to side. Um, the boat goes at the speed it wants to go, basically. <laughs> Let's see. Good habit to get into is testing um, weak versions of powers against the um, enemies you come across. Against some powers are more efficient against um, certain enemy types. I mean, I'm pretty early in the game and I have leveled up a fair bit, so it's probably not going to be anything too noticeable yet, but... Mm. I don't usually like streaming as early as I am, but right now where I am, it's just 2.36pm um, Eastern Time. Um, it's not really my favourite. I, I prefer streaming at night when I can, but... Um, I work early tomorrow, I go in at 3am, which is always nice, and um, oh, and I walk to the next week straight, so I just need to get a stream in, stream in now, or wait a whole nother week, which I didn't really want to do, so yeah, I, 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 I can live with an afternoon stream. I don't think I've connected... I don't remember if I have or not. Um, my tricks to my um, YouTube yet. Um, I did uh, end up uploading my first... Not banda, my first um, chit stream of this game on YouTube. So, because I know and it's gone now. I know that Chitch videos only last, I think it's two weeks they stay up. That sounds right. And last, I'm, I'm sure there are ways to make them stay up longer, but... I'm, I'm not too concerned. As long as this can, can keep a consistent thing every two weeks, I'll have something up. Which is... Which would be nice. I really don't like not having anything up. 
I kind of like to hit one of those fire flies, but that's fine. Yeah, this is not even close to putting me in danger, so. I kind of like to love with this up to the third one before I start with the, um, the one of mine he gave me, or besides the fact that I used against Shrego. But yeah, if you hear me yawn or anything, it's actually perfectly fine because I do need to get to sleep around 6 or so. At least, that's when I, I, I like getting around the full 8 hours of sleep. I really am not good at functioning with the last. I know some people can't, which is great for them, but even 2 days of like just 6 hours wears on me tremendously. So. I wonder if all these tentacles are literally supposed to be the giant squid and it has like 4 million tentacles just popping up across the entire lake. It would be kind of creepy um, if that was the case, which of course can't be, it's, it's not. As a contact with the giant squid is actually useful, so I'm quite friendly to students. level up, gives me all types of magic points to play around with. Ooh we one, three, two, how dangerous. So I've been playing a bit of um, the Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban Game Boy Advance version, which uses an RPG style like this game inside of the Action Advance uh, Parser Stars of the first two games on the Game Boy Advance. And um, just playing it the little I have, I'm pretty convinced that if I ranked all the uh, multiple versions of the games, it would be probably my top five. Um, I have a list, I think it, I count there that there are 29 different versions of the games, of the mainline Harry Potter games. Um, but it's a really, I really like the game, it's really fun. Like, the, it looks great. Um, plays really well, graphics are, again, the graphics are nice. Um, quite fun, I like it. That's I usually, as I said in my last stream, I don't usually ever play RPG games. And so, this is a nice introduction to them, I guess you could say. I mean, I you know I know I I know how they work. I've just again never really played them, never really been my type of style. And again, I know these were made for more children, so they're easier um, than probably what actual RPG enthusiasts would usually play. But nonetheless, I find it quite fun. Um, the third one, this one's not bad. Well, that was invigorating. Good work, Harry. So it was up to me to define everyone. I was just, um, thanks. That's a... That's a very strange comment. I was just what? Okay. Now for a brisk walk through the dancing lap to Hogwarts. In the book, they actually... I, I've been uh, rereading the uh, first book recently, um, at work, so... Um, so they get to the cave area, the dark Andor Hogwarts, I guess. Then it doesn't really specify, but somebody ended up walking through the main castle doors and they go in that way. So I don't really know how that works. You there, got your toad? We, we never saw him get, get it before. Yes, Travers right here, thank you. No, stay close and don't wander off. There are some creeping, crawling nasties off the main path. Never mind that there might be trash on these side corridors. Off we go then. And that's a nice um, thing to um, the players. Hey, go do that. 
Should I call those it is? Let's go. Has oh we yeah, already have three. I'm not really reading Ryan's they've already arrived before. Which is means I'm not gonna be reading too many of these because the way that this game works is you pick a starter duck at the beginning of the game, then more, almost all the cards you find. Like there's only a limited number of cards you can find. You actually have to replay the game four times before you can actually fall out all of the cards. And that's only if you don't use them in your four or triplicates, which is why I don't use them. Um Bridget Windlock forced the Rhythm Show to establish the magical properties of the Lambo Sovereign. Okay. I don't know how Lambo has magical properties, but I guess it's not for me to know. Ooh, three white rats. Okay, that's basically nothing. Ooh, I can do this. This is cool, I like this. Uh, when this pile is leveled up, you can use it against all opponents like that. And like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to actually be doing that for the most part. I want to level up some of my other powers, but... That's a nice, useful way to um, get rid of them. If you have a lot. Mm. Interesting that the big one only hits for 4 more damage than the small one. So I've been mashing around a bit in um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the Game Boy Advance, and um, not um, not really my thing that style of game. Um, maybe it's just because I didn't grow up playing it. Very well, might be it, but I'm finding that one pretty hard to actually get into. Nah, no, I mean I'll continue playing it, but this is not one of my favorite games that I've just had for Harry Potter wise. I'm going to guess Chamber Secrets is going to be much in the same vein, the uh, Game Boy Advance version. I think they clear out the dances of all of these um, things, but Maybe I ask too much. Because how else could students level up those powers that the ones come equipped with? I guess. Mm, I should be leveling up soon. Hopefully. Yeah, well. Yeah, soon is, but. I'm gonna have to take some things on just the pando. Might walk, maybe. I assume that would hit for the most, so let's use that on that one. Hmm. Actually, the back hit for more. Oh, that's. Like I don't have the um I guess use a wagon wild. I only have six right now. <sighs> really don't like doing that, but fine. Fine. <laughs> I mean I, I lost how much of the points I just gained in my health. So last time I checked Wado.com, um, I think it was negative 9 outside, and with wind chill it was negative 16. So it's just a lovely charming day here in, Indi in Indiana right now.
And I've walked the negative nine before, it's not the most fun experience. There you are, try and keep up. It isn't safe off by yourself, Harry. I like how he does it care enough to actually make me keep up. He just towers me too. Although to be fair, that kind of does fit with Hagrid's um, personality. I was just distracted. I really didn't know if the sound for the game's coming through. Since I went through an entire two and a half hours, um, you know, without it and not knowing, I get kind of paranoid about that. Which I don't think is unreasonable. Okay, so that one did more damage, so let's get that one forced. Yeah, that works out. around. Plus even if there's nothing I can just um find things probably. So due to my brother's influence I have started playing Project Zomb Zomboid, a multiplayer zombie survival game. Um I usually almost never play multiplayer games, but it looked interesting enough. Um, it's not; it's pretty fun actually. I'm sure it'll be fun with an even bigger group of people. But Fun, um, <laughs> funnily enough, it does actually list a release date. On Wikipedia for the game, I'm guessing because it's still tucking in early access. So, um, I guess the game just doesn't exist. At least that's totally what it means. My PowerPoint's pretty quick here. It's disappointing. But well, eventually that won't be a problem. I believe I saw yeah. Ah, oh, I hate this name. Parasaucis. I think it has to be very close to that. Hopefully. Parasaucis. Greatest vile medieval alchemist. I appreciate this card because I've seen this card say four different things that aren't contradictory but don't terribly complement each other either. <laughs> that dude's the um, greatest of the medieval alchemists. Where is that a radius? It's too big to be a radius. Maybe it's just a random ingredient. Mm. It's kind of funny that I had to pick this game out of all the games I have to get back into my quasi streaming. Considering this game is among the most boring to watch, probably pretty close to it. <sighs> Go 
us again. Who watches? I, I know that I'm just in Eastern Time, but who watches streams around 3 a.m.? Although someone's always streaming sometimes, so I wonder what the um what time has the least amount of streams that are active? I can't imagine there will be one that will be way um. Like, you know, a way, a way of an outlier. But then, the code be. I don't know, that'd be kind of interesting to know. Yeah, now I have those PowerPoints once again. Uh, yeah, and I'm at level up to 100 more experience points, so. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I know how it's going to go, I'm going to just have to use another pop up portion. Oh, that didn't do much to that. Oh, even better after using the um, other one. And now I can't, so... Oh yeah, this also doesn't do anything to it, so I guess I have to use it now. Luckily, they... Oh, well... Um, I was gonna say they weren't doing much to me, but then one hit me for 14. I do have 21, so that's fine. I'm, I'm a bit spoiled because in my other game, I was using the one guide. You know, I had like a lot of items due to um, finding literally every hiding space things had. So, and I won't be using that again for this rack because I don't really need that up in the background while I do this. Easily, 101. <laughs> a bit of a bit um, more than I needed, but I, I mean, it's fine. Wait, well, that's where we came from. Okay. I walked right into that one. Six hours of sleep last night. Maybe a six and a half. Yeah, is there anything else this way? I guess let's go down this way. Yeah, nothing there. That's surprising. Oh, maybe there's going to be something here, isn't there? I guess it's nice to get car combinations, but I'm not going to use them, so... Again, because they destroy the cards in from the combination to use the effect. And I came more with the collecting aspect than I do for other Mego benefits, less non benefits in some cases. They are brilliant, so... Archibald Arderton blew up the hamlet of Little Jackin while magically mixing a birthday cake. I've never seen him look so... I guess, uh, um, I guess so skinny. He's usually shown as a um, big um, um, cake mixer in the pictures I usually know. He looks like a pretty jolly guy, but it's pretty bad you blow up a hamlet. Accident or otherwise. Which I wouldn't think would be kind of to say. Okay, 
eight, so that's three. Wait, let me think. Yeah, that, that's like about four. Lord save me from a fair amount of damage. Now let's. I think I just did the most. It's why I should use any since I could use it the most and use it two more times. Oh! Have a thought you could look at strong hits outlive? Jeezly! I can't. I can never guarantee you're actually missing. Wait. I have two, a pasty is 25. Yeah. I'm a walk out. Oh, wait, no, it won't. It won't. Never mind. It's not really a waste, but. I, really, I didn't really want to use the whole wagon mode. For the much amount, it's just one arm really left. I guess that's how it goes. So it's just, I don't use Twitch as much as I used to. And I mean for viewing purposes, not streaming purposes. I only ever streamed a few times back in the day. Um, one very good stream, so either, I can promise you that. But whatever you're seeing now is a hell of a lot better than what I had been doing. So. Oh. <laughs> There's an affair of yet some Santa of a mega old Hogwarts fraud, Harry. Well, I like the I like the word Santa. I don't see that nearly as much as I saw. Two, I don't think Hargreaves speaks in the third person. Three, if Hargreaves was fretting, it would make sure I was actually following him. But she just walks away again. So it's all uh, it's all fine. Santa, there's a golden word. Let's see which one of these is going to have it. Oh, none of them. Okay, that's a surprise. What is this one's going to? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> at one point I'm going to just not be reading any of the music cards because again they're all going to be duplicates. Which I'm so the people who haven't watched previous streams will be like, oh, well, I still want to see it, which is reasonable, but, you know, I have other things I want to do in life than rereading cards time and time again. I would like to level up before. Oh, when I walk into this without. Damn it. Fine. I'm just. Running through my items right now. But is it really a good sign? Or maybe that means I didn't um, over level as much as I thought I had at Green Gods. Let's just use this one. There's no reason to use. Don't come on. I like how there's literally no indication this power won't hit or not. I guess it makes up for it. Granted, but. I don't want to go in that, not laugh wood. Probably gonna take two more condos to laugh or laugh and then I'll hit it. That was a nice hit. I'm not paying attention to my health, which is not a good thing for me to be, do to, to be doing when I'm at Chalve. 
Jesus. Come on. Oh, what? Okay. I will use a pumpkin pasty. I have 41. 25. If I need to use an add-on, it's going to be too hard to fit in. I'm probably going to need to. Happen. If I could get great hits with these, I'm not going to need, need to use another one. But it looks like I'm probably going to. Wait. <laughs> it's risky, I could miss this hit, but. And I, I do, of course I do. Of course I do. I cannot believe that I just died in the bloody dancings. That's embarrassing. Really embarrassing. Where am I? Oh, I'm at the beginning? That's horrible. I was right there. I guess the only negative effect of dying in this game is getting moved to a more inconvenient location. But I mean, it's annoying, and again, it's inconvenient. You don't lose any of your, um, you lose the items you use, basically. So that part is annoying. But you don't lose, I guess, any of your points from leveling. <laughs> so since my last stream, I have played all of A Pato and the Philosopher's Tone on the PS1. Um, it's a very interesting game. Um, that one on the PS1 for Chamber of Secrets feel really not Harry Potter ask. It's um they feel so disconnected from what you'd expect from Harry Potter. Which is strange to say because they have the normal things they have spouse they have boom races, but they have unusual mini games in them, which I mean they're fun enough. Uh, most of them, the, the green card cart ride I could have done without, but I like that. God, that's annoying. I'm going to know a lot of this just to get to the boss fight. Oh, I didn't need to use that one. Forgot. Ah, I thought I missed that one. It's fine. So if the video come out, I think it came out just a day after I streamed. Wait, yeah, I go. No, that's right. Okay. Um, an amazing video came out. I think a day or two after I last streamed, which was again three weeks ago. So um, but it was a video showcasing the um history of the Harry Potter video game, so it's perfect for me since I literally have just gotten all of them recently. Well, the other ones I didn't have before anyway. Um, and it was great, to use, it's just a really good video that goes through what well, other games. Um, you can you see, you know, all, um, I guess it didn't include, um, I don't believe there were any images of the uh, Lego Harry Potter or um, the Tano Diaz version, but no, nonetheless, I mean, you get to see almost all of the um, games, including the um, non-mainline series ones, which are really interesting. 
especially the like mobile ones for the iOS like in the um like early 2000 times those look like a blast but yeah um, I believe his name was Bracho Bracho Rankin Tail that's not it um Bracho something um, just look at the history of Harry Potter video games on YouTube, you'll find it's like a 39 minute video, very well done, um, quite liked it. Let's do this. It's for 13, that's not even too bad. Yeah, I, I might give me this power, so I assume this will be the best to use. So that's nine. Oh, well, now for mine. I guess that would be the best to use. Such a hard boss fight. I don't know how I survived. I wonder those encounters. Up these stairs and we'll be in Hogwarts proper. Now when I was already made the inside. I can just throw say to Harry. That's part single you need to do yourself throwing cauldrons. Well, that's useful. I love Hogwarts in this game. I'm not able to explore it yet, quite, but love it. The first year students, Professor McGonagall. Welcome to Hogwarts. The student ceremony begins soon, where you'll be assigned to one of our houses Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. The house will be where you sleep and study, and the house points you own may win the house cup. Oh, house points? I... Okay. You own them by doing a wow. I, I, I can't imagine Hermione whispering in front of McGonagall, when she's literally less than five feet away from home. Like, that's not going to happen. You own them? It's partially this young of Hermione. You own them by doing well or lose them by breaking the rules. They are added up at the end of the year and the house points with the most and the house with the most points wins the cup. How are we sorted? I think you have to wrestle a troll. Yeah, um, there's no way that Ronald didn't know how you're sorted. Like the only books are fun. There's no way. One, there's no way that it's not in half of history that Hermione's rad. And there's also no way that Ron is hard. Six? No. Five or the brothers wouldn't know how they're sorted. Just, there's no possible way to make that work. Yeah, I mean, she gives me the even know that I'm able to um, explore around right now. But I'm... Oh wait, no, it hasn't. Oh wait, no, it, it's going to. I do like the um, own shade, it's really cool. You've managed to crush the leg and find your way through the dancing. Now you're finally here in Hogwarts. Yeah, this is going to be like a prefix or something like that. Say down here, Harry. The second has him when he's about to begin, which means you should probably also be in the, um... The, uh, great, uh, great Hall. I believe that leads you to dances. That leads you... But I guess I'm not going to spoil it. It's, it's more fun to just it's fun, actually. Let's press those stuff. Oh, cool. Darwin Whitehorn, Darwin Whitehorn, founder of the Nimbus Racing Broom Company. Do the other, the Comet founder? Does he have a cow? That's the um, Firebolt founder? Was the Firebolt founder actually the, 
um, was the first fireboard in um, to, um, 94 or was it no, 93 or was it like a thing from another company like an offshoot I hope they pass in the same house and not Slytherin Ron had no chance of going to Slytherin they are now bad it's, it's a very um progressive view for a first year Ron Weasley but some nasty kid just lived there Greetings, first year students. I am Albus Dumbledore, Hardmaster of Hogwarts. Please find your table as soon as you're sorted into your house. <laughs> I think I was singing. I'm not going to sing. Um, let's just get it out of the way right now. You can keep your ballers black, your top hat slick and towel, for I'm the Hogwarts sorting hat and I can cut them out. There's nothing hidden in your heart the sorting hat can see. So try me on and out how you will you out you be. You might be long in Gryffindor or draw the brave out. The Dane, Northern bravery is a Gryffindor's apart. Uh, there's uh, actually describes the houses in the book, but that's the game only so much room. And uh, you it turns out in Slytherin you meet your real friends. Go to know. Granger, oh my in that as a first one is I believe Abit Hana. Um and there's also a Sally Ann Pox, who is mentioned in that one scene and literally is never seen again. I forget what house it is, so I don't know if it's sad. I'm pretty sure it's called they have. Maybe it's Ravenclaw. I don't know. I'm Granger Hermione. Also, that, that book has Blaze the Beanie, who later turns up in book number six. Uh, Theodore Nod, I believe, is sorted. And we, we later see him, I think, number four. Gryffindor. Pato, it could have. Okay. Pato, Harry. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Well, if. Jesus, that's so truncated. Live your soul. Pato be Gryffindor. Oh, yeah, now I'm in control again. I have to find the table. Oh, wait, wait why, why am I going to the right one? Let's go to the wrong one. Is this the Gryffindor table? This is Slytherin! Slytherin above all! That's him! The Harry Potter! That's Slytherin! Jesus! Too bad there isn't a Mago table for you, Potter. I'm not a Mago. Is this the Gryffindor table? No, we're half a puff. Half a puff is past. I'm not laughing at the half a puff is past comment, but they're usually humble. So, is this the Gryffindor table? Sorry, this is Ravenclaw. You're not smart enough to be a Ravenclaw. Oh, I'm sorry. Nothing for the Rocket Harry isn't smart enough to be a Ravenclaw. Nothing beats Ravenclaw. Is the house as messy as this table? Oh, this is mine. Is this the Gryffindor table? Yes, it is. I'm so glad you're one of us. Harry, over here. Thanks. I was feeling a bit lost. Of trying to for me earlier. Who's that sub face man up there? It looks like he hates me. That's how's mine, you know. In the book, it was posted with all of them. That Snape, should say Professor Snape, the post, the poison's master, teacher and master of Slytherin, master. Watch out for him. The one in the Torben's quarrel, who I have only met, uh, who wasn't wearing a Torben before. I'm talking about Borkhan. Um, he teaches defense against the dark arts. This is, they say Snape wants his job. I haven't turned into Gryffindor. Well oh, done, Ron. You'll be with all of us. All? <laughs> well, um. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's great. So great. The sorting is complete. Welcome to a new year of Hogwarts. Let the banquet begin. 
I hope you all enjoy the welcoming banquet. Off to find your hostess now. This is pretty good game design right here. You feel that it's a father in your cup to have been swept into Gryffindor. You hear a room where there are new card combinations available for the Wizard Collector's, co Wizard Card Collector's Club. <laughs> I believe it's not ghosts we're talking about. Oh, they laughed. Oh, that's a pity. They probably just sort of started walking to Gryffindor. Anyway, let's go exploring. Can I go outside right now? I think so. So anyway, uh, my quest is to find Gryffindor. Not Gryffindor house, not the Gryffindor common room. Just find Gryffindor, so I guess I'm finding God with Gryffindor. So anyway, this is where it gets fun. Because now we get to go through Hogwarts. Welcome to this tough room, which we actually saw in the books at one point. Book number two. I keep pushing the wrong button there. Uh, Leopoldina Smithwick forced British wits to referee a Quidditch match. Nothing they can tell by that pixie. Oh. Well, if you close your eyes, I, I see when it's sorry now. Okay. It's not good when the only way to figure out what the picture is if you have to close your eyes, but. I believe Harry and Ron hitting this probably very cardboard in book number two. Then that's I know Ron would have been shocked. They really should have just gotten out of the cardboard, you know, after everything was shut and done and say, hey, we know where the chamber is. Like, could you imagine if they had gotten a collection of the t shirts to actually go down into the chamber? Like, with full, full warning of what was down there. That would have been glorious to see. That would have been really cool, honestly. And that's the goal. Anything in the fireplace? Uh, oh, octopus powder, that's unfortunate. I wonder who the professor was who found the dead body of um, Baines. One, I wonder when he died. And two, I just wonder who the professor was, because that would have been... Um, Quite a sack. Maybe they, maybe they said a ghost first, and then they um, found Ben's body. That would be the most funny of all. The guard goes by the teacher's coming room, guard the door all day, but they sleep at night. It's a strange thing to tell me when I literally just walked in, but maybe it's night? Okay, we're in Future's office. That's interesting. Who thinks about Future's office? Nothing in that, really. If, if they, they if they say so, but oh, okay. I think I have this one. Smith Rooks in literally just what two minutes? It's so strange to see like Phil's obviously even I know like it actually did shop in the box, but still. Plus it's unusual that there's no like it's not a different room, it's just that they've caught up and there's a bar. Which is gonna be a common theme for these offices. Queen Maeve, the legendary witch who trained young sorcerers in Ireland. I believe she predates Hogwarts, which is why it's actually you know, important. Since that did it, it's possibly pacified. What's this other door over here? I believe that one was the dancers and that one's something. I can't remember what. It 
Michael Frost is everywhere you look. Behave, Peeves, said the cow the bloody baron. Did they ever bring that up past book one? That he actually listened to that? Maybe in book number three. Maybe. But it doesn't mean AF actually came to anything after book number one. Just trying to have fun? Who was that? He used the poltergeist. Be careful of him. The bloody bear in the Slaven House Ghost is the only one who can control him. I wonder how that works because you never get the impression that the bloody bear never sad much. Like, apparently he can't be as pleased to call out Harry when he impersonated the bloody bear, but um. Okay, empty classroom. That's not very specific. I'm not looking at every task. Classrooms have encounters in them, makes them more fun, and I guess you learn more from it. Oh, oh, jeez, Lee. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, I didn't overpower it all. These things. These things hit hard. Came to play. I'm. I would have loved this account if he had gotten even probably one of those hits off. But missing two in a row is really good for me. For the experience from just that. I'm probably going to fly up in, um... Jeez! Oh no, that's only 30, never mind. I, I missed Rad the first second. Is this like a geology class? I do find it interesting that the classes ignore things like geology because I, they would assume that your parents had already taught you what not your guardians. Okay, lock the door. Nothing. Oh, okay. Wilfric Ilfric, first wizard to be gored by an African elephant. He was gored, and they gave him a picture like that. I wonder if he lived. Hypothetically, they could they could the modern people who got gored and did it live and ever go, no one knew about it. Anyway, I said this gold game design only because Gryffindor is of course on the top floor because it's floor number 7. So you actually do um, have to go up other floors so you might as well look around while they're doing it. Hopbo the Fowl, first known creator of the Basilisk. Once again, the picture does absolutely no justice to the idea of creating something as horrifying as the Bloody Basilisk. Uh, as a Bloody Basilisk, I guess there's... Oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, 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 let's, let's go. I, I don't have the house to be riding into encounters, if you know what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, no, let's... How much work did ride into that one? Um, I'll continue going through Hogwarts, but let me show you one of the most important things for all the game people to know about. Let's see. On the bottom, up there. Again, I'll go back to the uh, finish of floor. The fourth floor in a second. Because, of course, in the UK, the fourth floor is actually this. What we. They have a ground floor, which you would call a fourth floor, and then they have the second floor. Then they have the fourth floor, which you would call the second. Because we, we don't really use the ground floor designation in the United States. And floor now. That's alright. Yeah, fourth floor, Howard. I, I, I really appreciate how all the floors have a different um, color scheme to the floor, or the little floor, because it um, makes it a lot easier to tell where you are. Uh, this is a very important room. On the north end of the fourth floor, you'll find the infirmary. Hello. Hello, Harry. I can see that you're hot. Would you like me to heal you? Yes, please. And you get free healing from... Madame Pomfrey. There, that's a feel about it. Thank you, Madame Pomfrey. And we are freely here. Magic and stamina out. Anyway, when you feel in the empty classroom, it's 
Watch, I'm used to this, no reason to go back to that one, but let's finish up the first flow. <sighs> there are um, secret passages to get to floors quicker. I don't really use them because I don't really remember what they are allowed, but they're around. I haven't played all the. I mean, I've played them maybe five minutes of the uh, Chamber of Secrets version of that game, but I don't know. So I don't know if they keep the same Hogwarts layout. I hope they do. Maybe add something, but it'll be, it'll be nice to have that kind of new idea. First, the Mechanicus office. Cool. I like the giant Gryffindor carpet. If we have this one, yeah. Wait, no, no, no. <sighs> so I ran into um two. I don't remember the names, and that going to be able to give proper start thoughts. I'm um, two streamers um, last night when I was watching things on street um, on streets, which again I don't really do much stuff recently. But um, one was finishing off. These are just normal rats. One was finishing off Scooby Doo Night of a Hundred Frights, which is a. I mean, I don't know what the comparisons really are, but a very good Scooby Doo game. After the few that they are, um, um, a, a 3D platformer uh, from I think 2002. Um, really fun game. I wish this on PC also, you know, play it. Um, I don't. People can use emulators. I don't really care at all. But I, I I've never been able to probably set up a emulator for um, a console on my computer. So, but yeah, it's a really good game. Um, Especially if you're fans of um, the original Scooby Doo series and the multiple variations there are, and I am, so granted, um, there are kids, so but nonetheless, still really fun. And someone also streaming the PS2 version of Chamber of Secrets, which you know, so was nice to see. That was one of the um, the earliest Harry Potter games I played. In fact, I think it is the old, well, technically, I played the Philosopher's Stone on the PC. Forced, but it's the oldest console version of the game. Um, Harry Potter game I've played. Now that I got that novel up from Pumphrey, or the house from Pumphrey, we don't actually know where I am leveling once or how close I am. So, you guys will take a look at that. Let's level up now, in which case I won't need to. Oh, cool! I got my third spawn level there. Oh, yeah, just 14. Um. Octopus Party again, that's terrifying. Um. It's cool. I think I'm going to go get a quick battle of water. Because my throats are ready. Being a bit dry, so I don't drink nearly as much water as I saw. Am I not nearly enough at barely drinking any, to be quite honest? It's a, not a great habit, but it's, it's for how, how, how I do, do so. And this certainly isn't the proper power for these. Oh, that, that doesn't help, but. I'm pretty sure this part works much more efficiently than the other one. What do you think he had? One health hit point right there? Hey, one! I was actually right. I forgot that I'm sure Panda would only do one damage there. Um, yeah, I'll be um, right back. I don't have any chitch overlays, um, but yeah, I'll be back.
I'm back. Sorry for that interlude. But again, been a while, throw to try, it happens. Okay. Anyway, we were just. We just came out of the cannabis office. It's just this one. Now, the Transfiguration Classroom. So. This actually looks a lot like the configuration classroom we see in the other game, so I'll ignore the PS1 games to begin with. are completely different. Um, sat up in every way from the other games. And the second one has the braids. I saw braids. I saw stone braids right outside of the Hogwarts entrance, which I've never seen anywhere else. I know that later games had the long, carved, rickety braids, but. I'm not talking about the bridge like that, it was a car, there's just a sort of torn bridge between that and like the Quidditch Stadium, it was so unusual. Okay, okay I believe it's this part that must have faxed in. I'll probably at one point just have to take notes because there are different anime types later on. And I'll rather you've seen that sounds part of the like the pan does nothing against these. Um, and the for the Melius does it do as much as the Familius. But for now, since we have a hard um other many different types it's now the hard to keep track of. But yeah, um, there's a layout like this with the car limbs and it being a more elongated room. I don't know, I, I think it's pretty cool room design. There's again strange and insistent. But you don't usually just pack from the um, these games, what's that? Just a hole in the wall. Okay. I guess. Side of the house first before going in, in, into any rooms. Well, this one's like in here, I believe. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's more in Motors Bathroom, which I think is a nice touch to throw in. Especially when it was a big town rather than the next year. Which is why I hope that they kept about the same layout. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be right here. You see, there we go. Um, I guess I did check what floor that is. So this is the second floor, and this leads up to the fifth floor. So if you ever need to take a shortcut, I guess use the Griffin statue. That looks like something that doesn't seem to do anything. That barely looks like something, but it does do something. 
Well, I'm just gonna have to trade it for the Okay. Let's just go to the fourth floor. So you can get to the uh, fifth and the fourth through shortcuts from the second. Which I'm not gonna remember, but maybe if you have already played this, you can remember it. You made the information so up you wild. First of Flipbook's office. Heart of Ravenclaw House. And um Charms Teacher. I don't have any books he has. Of course, we had a house raven that I expected to have more books than Alfred's. And yeah, nothing I could really see. Besides, I guess the um, pop bar portion. That'll probably make this charms class. Yeah, charms classroom. Oh, I forgot there's something cool that I can show you downstairs. I'll, I'll find it when I go back down. There's no reason to go all the way right now. Catteridge, a kind um, discarded gillyweed, kind of. Eight and nine. Ah, that's a hit hit. I've seen if there was a way to um, use the against both of them, but they're sadly not. 26 is a bad though. Actually, I put this over here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm talking about half the house. So that works out well. You need good help for this one up anyway. Plus, it does only use three, um, which is actually really useful. I believe you get a total of 13 spells in this game. I believe that rock locks is correct. Only four of them actually um, laugh on up. And, and to be fair, the other eight are um, continuations. So it's kind of only. Well, 13 minus 8. I mean, they're, they're technically different powers. Different variations there are for anyway. It is surprising it looks like how it looked in the movies. Which I would expect from um, the Game Boy Color version of this to have much um, resemblance to. Okay, I believe. Ah, actually, there's no point using you stuff. Unless it has a hit. I guess that, that means it'd be even last point. I've seen some rumors flying around, and I put very little trust in rumors um, in the game industry. Um, I guess I mostly don't care. But I've um, seen some rumors flying around that Hogwarts Legacy might be um, delayed until even next year. And it was already delayed once, for COVID reasons, I believe. I actually don't know if it's COVID related, but it was delayed anyway, so. Excuse me, Professor, but where's Gryffindor? I'm not so. How up to this, though? Yeah, um... I am so obviously could teach so. No, so every, I'm obviously go out of the house and probably have a teacher anyway. Knows exactly where all of the houses are located. I believe that leads to the library, which is for some reason locked right now. I don't quite understand it, but it is. I believe the library is the library's interesting because it's big enough that it actually covers two floors and a um, whole, like, close to a whole side of each floor. So, and to be fair, you actually can't help in going in 
They is pretty big, so... Let's check around. Maybe I'm just gonna save all of those up. I'll look at this, and I think I might just save this up for later. See if we actually get anything that's... I mean, it'll be against my knights, eh? But... I'm just getting a lot of repeats. Just, again, that's going to happen. In the way that this game's set up. I know the fans are set themselves things. I don't really know how, but they do. this go. Okay, so there's a secret passage. Really? Usually you can reuse those. I guess it's only through the floor right there. Um, secret passage through the the third to the second. Not really sure the point to that one, but okay. This is good, you know. Let's just saw it here. Dark Arts Classroom. Well, that's cool. I don't know if I actually ever walked up with this. I really like this um, Paddy's Tale that the teacher's hands on. Like, that's not kind of creepy at all. So, we have a dinosaur. Um... Why are those cows? I know the bones, obviously. But the um, windows. Nest hits, but put together like that. I'm sure there's a sun war, but I actually don't know it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that was good. Anytime I can take one out at once with one hit, I can see that really good. Is that the trendy? I think that's not going to be sufficient. How about this one? See, I just wasted points that I didn't need to waste because I didn't check out, didn't use the familiar Uno and the, the, the one that cost less points, so screw myself with it. Mm. That's a nice thing about this game, that no matter how- oh, well, that's fine then. And no matter if you did think you were over love or like I thought, apparently I really wasn't. So, it works out. Well, I suppose that it's a dinosaur, but now that I look at it, it might be a dragon. Which would honestly make more sense. Not sure why there'd be um, a pit to guard the dragon thing in the Dark Arts classroom, but that's fine. I wonder if, what the percentage would be of people who think that dragons actually existed and aren't just a mythical creature. Probably not very high, but you know there's going to be some without, oh I thought they were just dinosaurs. You see I'm pretty sure both of those are the library, maybe. Or well, maybe that one's something else. That one is something else too. Okay, fourth floor. Now the script stats use abound. I'm gonna throw these just sitting on the bounce. Probably store those from someone. You know, who might have wanted to come back, come back and get them. And it's, it's, it's passive funny because it's not like Harry and Missy. Okay, and this has a single passage from the 4th to the 2nd. So I, that exactly like Kenny needs the money. I'm sure there are those who do, like Ryan's family. So, um, I'm sure there's more than Ryan who don't have the money that they need. Okay. 4th floor, what room should be here? 4th floor. 
We have Transfiguration, Charms, Bell Bouts. Oh, History of Magic. That Professor Bean's office. I I guess I, he, he had a bar before he died. By the way, one of my big hopes, it's not going to happen, but one of my big hopes is that we get um, in Hogwarts Legacy one of the fastest is Professor Baines as an old wizard and he hadn't died yet. I think that would be really cool to see, you know, an alive Professor Baines. Now granted, I don't think it would act any differently than he did. Jeez Lee. Right, wow. Well, I am not paying attention to my health at all, am I? I guess in this game it doesn't matter as much, but still. It's not a good habit. Okay, I believe this is the thing that needs Rapando. Oh, let's just do this. Actually, for a reason to use it. Jeez, the hits. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. That's cruel. It's heartless. Luckily I'm on the same floor anyway. I, I need to get bad at this. I I promise, last time I played this I have not, you know, died as often as I have been. I was in the classroom. No, and I was in the uh, office, not the classroom. So, I'll probably stop this in about an hour or so. Maybe I'll keep all my streams around the 240 length, just to have consistency. But I'll, I'll, um, I'll be able to finish hard with stuff anyway. Uh, let's do one of these, since I failed at the last one. Ooh, these things, things are scary. Yeah, these here for 24. Let's see. That's Pyros. Memories? No. That's not that out. I already lost 40, what? 48? 46. Yeah, here we go. This much. It's more effective. I don't need to use it, but I'm going to just to get this more powered up. I believe it's 50 times to get it up, 50 or 25, and then it's 100 to get it to number 3, using a combination of both 1 and 2. And they are getting force powers to level up, and all the other ones don't. Which is good because there are some that are really costing this one that costs like 80 magical points. Oh wait, what? Is your magic classroom? I kind of did it with you, but okay. And that's only one. Who hits for 19, but it's only one. I wish you saw more of bins in the book. Oh, these can poison you. So it is advisable to get rid of these rather quickly because the poison is not fun. Now the poison only lasts through the encounter, which is really, really good. But nonetheless, um, who, who wants to get poisoned? It's, it's not a good idea. Especially when it takes like, I think, 20 health, 30 health, a lot around there. And when it poisons me, the attack would be blue or something like that. I guess I'll try this, but this is probably a bad idea. Maybe I should just stick with Flipando. Well, it comes to the same. Let's see. 
Probably three more encounters to not level up. How much got in info? Get the f Dude! She's moving fast, but where's Griffin though? Look up! No, Fuzz my garlic, can be a bit more specific than that. I, I think she would tell a first year student where Gryffindor was. Look up, not down. Jesus. Like, there's no reason to be, to be calling McGonagall. Oh, yeah. I do. I'll take it. I mean, it's free, why not? So this is Madame Pumphrey's office, which of course, even though she's standing right there, is, you know, just infested with things. It's nice and healthy. And I just saw the ground red and white portion of Rambo. It's nice. I just saw the Chris, um, where's the card from? I don't know why. Maybe for pastor patients? Like who are, like, seriously ill and she could at risk being too far away from? It's kind of strange though, not going to lie. Yeah, I just slapped over in Madame Pumphrey's office. <laughs> yes, it's... Yes, it's a, apparently a very good environment for rats in Hogwarts here. Which you would think would be the case, but... Wait. But, but I guess it's a magic place, so... I guess the rats can be as healthy as they need to be. It is kind of concerning that the rats are as tall as... In fact, tall or... Maybe, no, they're probably just attacking me the same height. Um. But the same size as me and probably weighs twice as much it looks like. I'm um, so that's so that's just how rats do in Hogwarts. Now that we saw it, but I guess the games make it so that's not right. It's a familiar. Damn it! It's Flipando. Again, there goes eight. Um. anything else. Oh! This is a great run. Just perfect. I'll take some of the blame in that I am tired. So I'll, I'll blame some of it on that, but nonetheless. I, I can't really be uh, doing stuff like this. And I'm actually in missions. Right now, it won't, oh, this is the uh, the bad pan room. This is interesting. Mm, let's use this to clear. If you see if the pan is used for the beginning of the. Ooh, that's that's good. Again, I do need this level up though. I just did a I mean, I guess I could have let it go out, and of course, I get that. It's fine. It's fine. I would just before you need know, one like PowerPoint and like one health at the time I level lap. It, it makes it look cool. I probably looked at that. Okay, and there's a passageway from the fourth floor to the sixth, just randomly. Now 
and that was that was it for that floor. Just three rooms with two um, expansions, basically. Those coaches look really comfy. I'm not sure why they're just running coaches out in the hallways. If you could count this hallways, it's really not, but... Okay. Oh yeah, it's that one. That, that I, I'm sure it's... I know it's not, but that, that always reminds me of a serious black smile that starts here. Really? Just a random... I guess it's a seat. Okay. I believe this is the A4 mansion called Collectors... Collect... The Collectors Club thing. Oh, oh yeah, the um, <laughs> dude, I guess you could have done that. I, you know, trade from game like that would be so interesting. I'm not gonna need to make a car combination, but I have it, so that's what. I, I did it. I've never played this before. I, I see what it's going for. Okay, rock, yellow, blue, green. Like, what's the um, challenge? What do you win? Like, it's not time, is it? Did I get anything for that? Or is it just a mini game? It's just. That's. Why? I mean, it's. Not no, everything is a point, but. I wasn't paying as much attention to this one, obviously. But I actually kind of received this a um. Can you lose? Okay. It's actually a star. There's no, there's no timer, there's no rewards, it's just, that's interesting. Here we go, Fred and George. We, uh, so, I have no idea which one is which, and it's not like they specified. But here you can buy portions, um, robes, things, um, which, you know, of course, get you. Um, actually, maybe I saw it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Why am I wearing right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to waste. Are those Howden boots? No, plain boots. You have to add, like, equip things. I think I was wearing the winter cloak. To uh, see what you're actually wearing. Let's buy something. Well, wait. Maybe we should buy wedding mark portions.
and he sells candy, which is useless. Besides, I guess they get chocolate for a house, which I guess you can get cows from. But I mean, it's only a collectible anyway. Granted, I guess you do use it for a uh, full loop shoot, like if you ever wanted to, but I don't, so. Seventeen vegan walls, twenty-six purple ups. A vegan wall costs one fifty, is it? But at least it's the candy one. Wait, you have to. Oh, okay, you do buy him the candy one, yeah, 150. Spy three of yours. Eh, let's just buy superior walk rocks. Superior gloves. I said for the dragon clock last. Well, it's fine. And it's coming about. Anything else? Oh, I guess I could get a um, superior pointed hat. Okay, well, I'll be able to sell the other stuff. I like how it does it tell you, um, just touch of what you're buying, you just have to hope it's back there. Yeah, so superior gloves. Superior pointed hat. I don't think I can sell the ropes because the tuck near required thing for school. That's pretty good. I need to change my boots, so. You can't really sell things for all the mats, but. And see, no, that was I put it so the other stuff. Yes, that was all the basic school equipment. Disappointing, but at least there's no um, inventory weight or capacity or whatnot. The Margul Out Classroom. I don't think there is a Margul Out Classroom, but okay. It would have been great to see Charity Bobbits actually, I don't know, any time before book stuff. I mean, just throwing the teacher in, and I can only actually spin around for half it. Okay, so there's Rats Pies and Yellow Pies. And they hit hard. That, as usual. <laughs> of course. What a sad. Wait, no, that's the one I just... I guess I could have tried the other one, but... No need power points anywhere. Considering how disrespected Margos are in the Virginia community, I wonder if Margos studies actually told in this class. Margos studies classroom. I, mean, I can't imagine it's around for, a while, for you know all of that long, relatively speaking. Like I'm not, I'm pretty sure it didn't exist in the 1840s even. We 
which the light yellow ones took this. The dragon so far did negatively buy for the panda, but let's try the other one. Not that I really have the house house too much around this, but I guess I could just, you know, go myself and be healed by Palm Tree. Instead of just wait to die. Oh, that could happen too. Nice timing. See that actually had a good timing that time. For a fat lady in the pink dress, that's all I know. That's apparently not more than Megana could do. So, don't sell yourself so. <laughs> the Margul Music Classroom. Right. Just everyone's favourite classroom. Margul Music Classroom. I mean, it's interesting, but. Why? Like, how would there be any amount of students who would you take a, like, would that just be an extension of Margus Tardis? And if so, why would they get three classical rooms? I think, I mean, I guess, it's not like how just have the space, but, seems like um, an awful indulgence, especially in the subject that I can't imagine many, um, many actually take I, to be fair I can't imagine many actually take a rough arithmancy or uh, what's the other one uh, to be fair I don't know why people take divination if you were to Hogwarts what would the two um, extra classes you choose to take be um, assuming competent teachers not to throw Hogwarts under a bus, but um, he what he, he kind of wasn't one. I mean, I'd just be disappointed if he has my, my teacher, but um, I think I'll do Marcus Tardis because I mean, Hermione is not wrong. It would be fascinating to see um, Marcus from um. A weird perspective on class what is to get a 300 and shelf on her mother studies um, exam that year. I mean, basically, she could have just taught the class, which probably would have annoyed the teacher a bit, but I would hope that Charity Bobbits was at least half. Honestly, that's matter if she's half blood. Um, hopefully, she was Margaret born. Um, I don't think Quarrel was. I don't remember. Well, I'm. I know J.K. Rowling did release a um, a, a, a small, but not as loud as Lupin's biography, but a nice biography on four nonetheless. By the way, I still haven't completed my quest to find Gryffindor, but I'm very nearly there. I see that's the nice thing. Well, once you start getting into some of these enemies, you just, again, like I said earlier, just start ra ra rapidly leveling up. Ah. Yeah, next is the sixth floor. Then the seventh, finally. Plus, just scribbling this on the seventh floor. Gryffindor, not far away, not far at all. No one is helpful in this game. They could literally just tell me, but no, they, they won't. Why are they Egyptian things in Hogwarts? Like, what is this? It's 
giant pocket along this. A big bowl. Ah, this game. If anyone could explain the Egyptian thing, I'd love to hear. Ancient ruins. See, this is interesting. I, 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 um, I wouldn't think ancient ruins. I can tell you that right now. And I've you found fiction of our rod that makes it sound so complicated. <laughs> uh, I forget where the line. I think it's probably book five. Um, the Hermione is trying to um past herself. Like, don't um. I see her being all annoyed about I see mistake. Me see mistook like an O watch for an air watch. I'm pronouncing that horribly, but it was a rather hilarious line. And Ron's like, oh, of course, no one would have to do that. <laughs> empty classroom. I wonder what all these empty classrooms actually are. Like, we know all the classes in Hogwarts, it's not like, oh, that's not good. See, now I've been poisoned. And it does, like, I think Trandy, I don't know, it's going to do Trandy then 13, probably gets up to 40. Uh, let's see, this was. Nice. Return to continuous damage plus he gets you attacking. He never attacks for mats, but nonetheless, it's not performable. That's also not performable. Yeah, that did nothing. See, now it's already up to 30. That actually did nothing. 40. Yeah, that thing destroyed me. But I got 93 experience, so we'll get away. Oh, well. Um. <laughs> okay. All these things. Those slugs. Yes. Oh, that's not. That's not right. <sighs> See, I don't really have the health for to be tasting them like this. I don't really also have much choice. So I don't know how many, I don't know exact, exactly how people use Twitch. Um, like how they find, um, what, oh, this is called the Riding Supplies Office, which makes perfect sense. And it's a place in Hogwarts to have a Riding Supplies Office. It's just, of course, you didn't have a mansion in the books or anything, but it makes perfect sense for school to have one of these. Um, I, um, usually what I tend to do is I actually follow games. I think they call them categories. And I try to follow those categories, um, and then just, you know, like, whenever I actually want to watch something, I just pick something that's randomly streaming. There's always something streaming from my categories. I have, like, 45 games set up. Now, to be fair, the, most of the games are, like, PS2 era, like, all the games. Because I, I don't really care much about watching people play new games. I think the newest game I have set up to a lot me is, um, Maybe The Witness. I think that's what I'm interested to watch people play through for the first time. Okay, well, that's not where I'm going. Of course, all the Harry Potter games have sat up to them. I mean, Secret Howard, it's not really all the secret, it's literally just right in the open. Hello? What is that? I saw um, one of the um, guides for the game call these things Orgies. I don't know if I actually looked up. I don't think, like, I don't think the Harry Potter wiki considers them Orgies. Um, yeah, see that 
nasty. Well, it only hits. I mean, they look a lot more fiercer than they actually are, but. And that's the important with the punch, which doesn't seem to make much sense, but I don't know. And they also have a lot of health. Does the partner do anything? Eh, so far. I mean, I don't really like using all these health points and something that doesn't even hit me. Well, I'm assuming it'll give me some good level. I wouldn't be surprised if this didn't kill it either, honestly. No? I wonder how much hit points that actually, how many hit points that actually has. No, oh, I'm like a hundred and ten off. That's fine. A store room. There's look like um like comical barrels, honestly. At least that's that's what they look like you made. Honestly, I should have probably aimed for the MB things in the sense that actually hit me for something. Yeah, well, I'm already halfway down with this spider anyway. I gave that way too much chance to get damage into me. Oh, well, that's not even very good. I don't know what else they could be. So that's just that. I wonder if they ever get unlocked. I don't particularly remember if they do. I get the feeling maybe one does. I don't really know. Oh well, there's nothing there, I don't know. It's fine. Well, see, that's nice. And something that's actually like destroy me. Jesus, that has no health. I just used to find her. Not much of a storm, I didn't really find much. There's about no way to actually dodge that one. Blue spider that does 37 damage, that's um, it's healthy. Oh my gosh, this is going to be fucked it out. Damn I hate Zeus because that doesn't actually tell you anything. Like, a, a miss doesn't tell me if... Not too bad, but also, um... I don't... Oh, that's not when you walk. I guess I'm going to have to. It's a wig and wild. Probably a wig and wild. It's power points and then another wig and wild. And just cry if I level up um, next. Um, after this encounter. Okay, so. If the panel didn't do anything, I'm assuming it would be this one then. No, actually. That doesn't really do anything either. I guess it, it's this one, I just don't have like the second arm. Um, I 
I hope I don't miss because I'm not. God. This is a pathetic showing from me today. I'm sorry about anyone watching this. Um, it's really not, really not a good showing. I uh, hope it's going to be more my game next time I play. Which unless I sneak a stream in sometime in the afternoon. Um, in the upcoming seven or so days, I, I, I know when it's going to be. Doing something scarred would be nice, but in the end, I'm doing this mostly just for fun. You know, to showcase a part of the game is like granted. I'm so out of these can way that they technically finish the floor. Oh my gosh. Um, actually, I kind of dated that. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure all of this has been speedrun. I know the uh, PC ones are very popular for speedrunning. Um. Okay. Oh, that would have been more useful. But. So, fourth to south. And once again, I'm not going to remember. I think that. Um. I actually have a list of all of the um, top. World record for this uh, Harry Potter game speed speed round. I think the shortest one was um, a hundred percent speed round was for Harry Potter on the. I think I'm I am not swearing, but like for Last of Us, home of the Game Boy Advance. I believe that's what it was. Oh, that's Trelawney. Do not disturb orb gazing. That's hilarious. Arithmetic classroom. Cool. Oh, purple bots with green eyes. Ooh, only 17 damage, that's not too bad. As far as I know, I hope I have over 200. Spoilers, nothing. There we go. Just a little bit of experimentation, and then it'll all work out for you. Oh, while well, you're taking hits, of course, but that's the joy. That, that's what make that's what, what makes it the game. And you know, the interactivity, but. So, in real long ago. Um, on my YouTube, I did playthroughs of the first three Harry Potter PC games, and, um, Batman Arkham Asylum, and I started playthroughs for two other games, but I lost the, um, I had moved computers since then, and I was, you wouldn't be surprised, I was sporadic in my uploading, so, um, <laughs> I lost, lost those of save files. Um, which is disappointing. Um, especially, um, oh, here we go. Can you talk? Why would I be able to talk? Do you know where Gryffindor is? Indeed I do. I'm the Guardian of Gryffindor. I've never once seen the fat lady described as the Guardian of Gryffindor. I guess I have now, but... How do I get in? By giving me the secret password. What is this? Why? The fuck? Would you ask that? Jesus! What is the secret password? You idiot! There wouldn't be much of a secret if I told you, silly. You have to find it yourself. Let's see. Do you know the Gryffindor password? Somebody said to find the Gryffindor house ghost. Ah, I'll see him up here. So the only way Gryffindors get you to force the Gryffindors, by the way, get you know the Gryffindor passport. It. Oh wait, that's not right. 
is by finding nearly harmless Nick, which is floating around somewhere. I believe I stand on the floor below this. There's some ghosts anyway. I don't believe the other ghosts make an appearance. I'd really like to know more about the um fat, fat fryer. Um, he's like you. We only really see him target book number one. But he seems like a really jolly person. Really like him. Do you know the Gryffindor? Do you know the person to get into Gryffindor? I'd be a poor official house ghost if I didn't. What is it? For <laughs> Jesus Christ. First, uh, perhaps you could do me a favor. I like his um, masters in the character portrait. That's interesting. What kind of favor? Uh, this how is get bre your ghost. It doesn't matter. This how is can get breezy. One's heart can flap about when one least expects it. Technically speaking, I do believe that we see. When the fact ghosts in that when nearly headless niggers petrified in book number two, I believe they McGonna go some conscious of fun to like blow him to the hospital wing. Now I don't know how the magic on the door was um, administered to him. No one else does. I assume it's probably an, an aerosol form. But I don't really know how you unpatrify something that can't actually physically take the Madison. So, perhaps you could find something to keep it more secure. Like what? Jesus Christ, here, you need everything that's powered out for you. No, it's cool tie would do nicely. I swear, Harry's never been this stupid. In the books, he was sassy and snarky. In the movies, he was something. But he wasn't like this. Where would I find one? I think I saw one in the entrance. At the vague bloody ground floor. I think I saw one in the entrance hall. One, your ghost, a school tie, will just go through you. But fine, fine. I'll go to the entrance hall to get your bloody school tie. I was thought, can I just give him my school tie and my wearing a school tie? I can't tell with that. It's very useful to uh, memorize exactly where these tears come out. Um, at least this is the third floor. No, second floor. That means there are stairs at the bottom. It just makes eating around a lot easier. Now, granted, that would be even better if you knew where the secret passageways were, but I don't, obviously. So, at least it never keeps full recollection. I mean, these are the most obvious things. Oh, since I've done it, I can show you the thing I was talking about way earlier. There we go. Um, so it's fun. Uh, fun. It's kind of funny. I'm, I'm in the unviable position where I'm streaming, so I have to keep things entertaining for those who might wander through my board and Twitch. I'm also planning on uploading these on, um, that's a cool window. I'm also planning on uploading these on um, YouTube. At the portrait room. See, in the later games, behind the Great Hall is the trophy room, which we see in the famous scene in Goblet of Fire where Dumbledore screams his Gambin sucks as a Dumbledore actor. Hot take. Not my favorite Dumbledore actor. In fact, my least favorite since there were only two. Well, I guess there was the, um, the guy who um, did the Dumbledore role in the Fantastic Beasts and really find them. But I have a, I've only seen like maybe half of the second one. And I was getting the feeling it wasn't going to be terribly coherent. Um, oh. Anyway, but so <laughs> I kind of have to talk whether I want to talk or not, just because to entertain the YouTube viewers who might come along around later. So, it makes life more fun. 
Not for me, but maybe for someone. I like this you'll have a lot before I leave. That didn't mean me doing what I was helpful. Lava eighteen. Oh, these things peak. That's I am going to tell you right now that's more creepy than um portrait's eyes following you around the room. Sorry, yeah, that just is. I started out as a full length statue, but in the end it just went bust. That's hilarious. I mean, it's a pun, but I like it. Jesus, that, that one's not nearly as funny. I really like that hair. I'm just gonna reuse the lines. Eh, it's understandable. Who's that piece? Oh, I wonder if these may be a game designers. Maybe not that one. But that would, um, that would be a nice funny Easter egg. Yes, that seriously looks like a game designer. And, okay, to be fair, it actually looks like a South and this hippie. Um, no, I don't say that in a derogatory way, but... The hairstyle, the mustache. That would be a fun Easter egg. Yes, but how many students actually visit this place? The a portrait room behind the great hall. It's probably me and that's it. They, they've never seen this too for the rest of the year. It was like encountered literally here and then. Oh, okay. No, that's nothing. Six experience, that was so worth it. I got this cool tie anyway, so now it's all the way back up to the sixth floor to give this to Nick. Again, I appreciate how this mission was designed to give to give you full run to explore Hogwarts. It's, it's a nice, very good way to introduce Hogwarts, I think. This is just some quick melatonin. <laughs> Nothing bad, just some melatonin. <sighs> Granted, I probably wouldn't need it tonight anyway, but I've had more than, um, like, and I think the first month or so, 
maybe it was like the first month. Um, within the first uh, six months of walking, um, I had like at least seven nights where I was laying. Oh, I went to the seventh floor. Oh, this would be the floating, the giant bar they talked about. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I have no clue. Like, why is there a floating bow? Wh why? What is it? Um, but yeah, I had like seven or so nights of like lasting four hours of sleep because it's just cold to get you sleep. Like, I have, I don't know what's going on there, but see, I usually almost always take my little before I, you know, before I have walked the next day to guarantee I'm going to get sleep. And I'm so happy that I haven't brought up an endurance yet because that would really not be good. Is this the kind of- it's a tie, Harry, I'll be fine. Is this the kind of tie you want? Give for the old school tie. Smashing! He's not Nigel from the Wild Thorn Berries. I- I need to watch it again, it's been so long. I think I really liked the first movie. I think I really liked it. Um... Smashing! Uh, this will keep the old Marlin upright. The password is Carpet to Draconis. See you later! Could have just told me. I save me time. Nick's actually extremely helpful in Half Blood Prince, the yeah, video game, the main video game for that console and um, PC version. Hello again. Carpet your he doesn't even say hello, he's just so proud. Carpet your corners. Welcome to Gryffindor, dear. In you go. Jesus Christ, finally. Welcome to Gryffindor here. This would take me eons to finish at this rate. Oh, okay. Welcome to Gryffindor, Harry. Have a look. <laughs> this is not a speedrun, I can tell you that right now. I think I've seen a 100% speedrun for this in four hours. Because again, you have to play through it four times. Welcome to Gryffindor, Harry. Have a look around. I'm glad I'm finally here. So am I. See, that one was owned. You found Gryffindor, your house in Hogwarts where you live and study. Make everyone feel at home, a new card combination is now available at the Wizarding Card Collectors Club. Make sure you look at the announcement board. Ooh, cool. Investigations continue in either Brick and Green Gods, believed to be the work of Dark Wizards and wi or Witches. Nothing was taken. The vault that was broken into had been emptied and while was the same day. We're not telling you what was in there, so keep your nose out if you know what's good for you, said the Green Gods Pokes Goblin. Oh, I gotta take a look at my tower chip, probably. Oh, yeah, sort of collecting enough now. I mean, it's interesting to see them here and not in the um. <laughs> this sounds like a Fred and George thing to say. You not only gain your trouble, you can't gain your trouble if you leave Gryffindor at night. Only if you get caught. I appreciate how Fred and George had that morality map for eons. Um, what, six years at that point? No, five years at that point. Um, but yeah, they never considered giving it to Ron, they never considered giving it to... Well, I mean, most takers would have just been Ron. What's that supposed to be? Oh, a fireplace, probably. Strange angle. Is this a notice board? I think I'll have a look at the notice. Switch for sale. Reasonable prices. Signed, Fred and George Weasley. Mr. Fritz, the caretaker, reminds you that all, that no ma reminds you all that no magic should be used in school corridors between classes. Violet is a subject to house point parties. You can actually use magic in, the, in this game in that way, so it works out. The force on the ground is forbidden to our students at all times, except during the tungsten's. The third floor corridor on the right hand side is out of bounds. You have to be just wish to die away, painful, painful death. I like how Dumbledore actually signs that. Like, yeah, that's the concern of the students. Signed Albus Dumbledore. Password coverage records, that's cool. I like that. Oh, it's Hermione. Speak to me, Hermione. 
I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm going to learn so much and do so well. Where are you going? Those are the, the customs through the is through there. Why is our novel allowed? Oh yeah. That's the boys' dorm. Force your students sleep on the first level. I get no force. Why should you to go up for before I do? You'd better turn in soon, Harry. Tomorrow will be a big day. I mean, it's just gonna be training for hours, like most days. Who's this? Is it? Jesus, is that Samus? Am I Harry? It's a... Okay, that's not Samus. But I, I can promise it's not Dean. So, um, yeah, they have a problem here. Good night, Harry. It's an honor to share this house with you. I'm too tired to talk anymore. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to. I would you talk to, um, Navon? And a real dean. Hurry, Harry, we have to get you potions class. Snape doesn't like it when you're late. Oh, that's great. Potions, of course, is in the dancing. And literally the, um, the very bottom of the castle from where we are right now. That's interesting, I've never seen that before. What the fuck is that? Be excited about the first day of class as soon as I wake up. What? Okay. They... See, the funny thing is, they have had, you know, they had the um, black character um, who was the, the the healer in Diagon Alley when you got um, damaged. Like, so they can do, um, obviously they can do it. They've had, you know, um, African American characters in this game already. They could have thrown Dean in. Really? Like, why not? Is that so hard? Where's the potions classroom? In a deep, dark, dank place. It's just the way Snape likes it. The, oh, as far as as far as hell as you can get, a, see, yeah, see, that's what I was saying. And still be in the building. There are ways to get there faster if you look for them. Honestly, friends, just could just tell me. Or some precious slip. Maybe hide it for the thousands. Wait. Is this, does this thing give me clues for my missions? I've, in one um, mission that actually tells you look at this and it does give you a clue, but I've never noticed. Oh, that's fascinating, I'm gonna need to keep an eye out for that. What's the price is it maybe harder for the dances? That's, that's cool. I haven't noticed that detail. I mean, I've only played through the whole game once, so. I have fallen Yeah, see, yeah, that's... Hard one, hard one. That's probably two. I love that name. I really love that name. Dunbar Oak, uh, maybe I read this one, but... Uh, Dunbar... Danba Oglethorpe, present chief of Quiffle, present chief of Quiffle, governing body, Quabble. They forget to specify it's not a governing body, it's a union. It's the Quidditch Union, it's a, it's a great name, uh, it's an acronym. Um, but you know, it's a Quidditch Union, which is cool, you see, I like, you know, unionization, that's a good thing, you should have more of them, a lot more of them. Granted, I'll do the dancings and not be late for class. Granted, I don't think you can technically be late. I mean, okay, technically speaking, you can actually be early. That, I mean, that's a more um, accurate way to say it. I mean, it's just your passes, but it's fine. I'll just go down normally. This is just a crest from here. Oh, well, kind of. It would have been nice if this had some 
way we can get move faster. But it's fine. This way that I came up from, okay, that makes sense. And then the other one with the dance is proper. I, I don't know I'm looking at Filter's office, did I have a look? Oh, yeah, I did, okay. Hey, Filter's. You! What are you in class? I'm trying to find the Porsche's classroom. It's in the dancings! You have no force here, so ignore that. That Filter's be nice. Is it so hard? Really? Professor Snape's office. I can imagine he'd be content with encounters happening in his office, but that's fine. He, 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 he can do what he wants. Easily. you from Snape that seems to be a great idea. Especially when he hates me already. Well I guess tag me, I don't know that yet. I love these dancing floors. I think you can do anything with that door, it just comes and goes. Oh, and fifth floor to the dancings, I guess. That works. If there was any like timed races in the, this game, which sadly there aren't, that would be a great that would be a great task if your arm. Um, Knowledge of the uh, secret passageways. Be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Jesus, it's, I mean, there's been shipped stacks, but does that really require healing potions? That sounds like a bad idea, I think your brother wants you to die. <laughs> well, you can talk to the other slave. I'll get to my boss. My cousin is sanger than any of the others. This palace yours too, Jesus. I like how this game really ups how annoying she was. Shouldn't that make too big of a mess, Pato? Brother, she's never as mean as he looks. Oh, there he is. I use right here and I'm just stealing cards from him. The room is for advanced students only, Pato. I think you can actually get into the room that I know of. Maybe in the stock again. Well, Harry Potter, our new celebrity, please find a seat. Potter, will you look if I asked you to find a Bezos stone? I know, I know. Jesus, oh my. I don't know, so. Perhaps you should ask Hermione. I think C does. That's one point from Gryffindor Potter. <laughs> Stephanie too. So Slytherin wins. It's not surprising that Slytherin had a six-year chic and said you 
how Polish and Snape was with points. <laughs> well, there goes Navel. Ow, ow, ow. Your friend, Mr. Longbottom, seems to have hurt himself. Or let you gather the potion it begins to heal him, Pato. But you need to find two portions of Peter's eyes, one portion of snake fangs, and one portion of boom slang skin. Search for them in or around Hogwarts. You might want to talk to Hogwarts the gamekeeper about where to look. And be quick, I will deduct house points for slowness. Hurry, Harry. <laughs> so Snape is going to just let Nava die. That's nice. Shh, don't you dare get me into trouble. Jesus, Hermione. I mean, you go. How? I don't know. Peter's eyes, boomstick skin. So did I say that and then give me the ingredients? I was that was strange how backwards that was. I'd be lucky if I stay up long enough to eat Dano at this point. Oh, what's going to pass for Dano? Poison. That's annoying. Took 20 damage that I really didn't need to take. Finally! I've been waiting for that. I need snake fangs and beetle eyes. And talk to Hog, which means I can go outside now, yeah. Uh, these grounds are huge, there's no way I'm ever going to actually try to fully explore all of them, so you can just forget that right now. Um, here's how open world it is, it's kind of complicated to use, so. So I have um, for the Millie's Uno and for the Millie's Duo. Oh, I should have hit the snake force, I thought it would be poisoned. And it's only enormous. It's fine. Still need to level it up, it's fine. This is a This is a cool office. I like the idea of her just calling a student out to the greenhouses so she can talk to them. Oh, that's a different norm. Fifty Jesus. Holy mother! No, 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 no. No way. Like maybe, maybe, but now you think now you took a hundred health from me. I've noticed sometimes when you go to a door, it doesn't actually interact. You know, like just like you leave at the market. I don't know what that's about. I think I'm going to save a hill. Um, it's about the same time as my last stream, so I hope anybody who stopped by, I can see anybody if they um, come in or not, I don't need to change that. Um, um, I can only see if you say anything. Um, hope everybody had a um, nice, haha, -ha. everyone has a nice day, um, hope you had fun if you came by, and I will see you after this um, encounter.
Yeah, that's just my face for gnomes. Okay, yeah, I'll save it. Yeah, actually, it's the first time I've saved. I'll, um. Yeah. Um. Have a good one. See you later.